the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know you're going through the fire. It's getting hard to stand the heat. But even harder is the wondering. Is God's hand still on me? For our good night message on this Sunday, the 17th of October 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging message entitled, When God is Silent. He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time. It's gonna be okay, cause the potter knows the clay. When we look at the situation we face today and the challenges surrounding us, we start thinking God is too slow to act, or he has become too quiet as not to know what we are going through. He is silent. And surely there have been times in our lives that we have asked the question of the ages, why is God silent? Just the other day I was sharing with one of the Daily Bread members And he told me of a situation he faced having lost his wife and his two kids in an accident. He said he prayed. He asked for God's favor to come upon his family. And all he received was the death of the loved ones. Last month, we lost one of our daily bread members, Teresa, who earlier, just a month before, had lost her brother, Professor Gishure, whom I worked with so well when I was heading our college, since it was affiliated to the Catholic University of East in Africa, where this professor worked for so long. And sharing the evening, we lost this beloved member on Daily Bread, Teresa. The one who was sharing with me said, Father, we have prayed. Father, we have been gathering in prayer every day, asking God to speak a word of healing upon her. And all we have received is an answer, which is not favorable to us. But then I heard an exclamation of faith. God has favored her. It is a word of surrender, showing clearly that it is true. God has not been silent. He has answered not in the way we think. He has answered in his own way. Yes, sometimes there is silence. And he is teaching us to trust him when we experience that silence of God. Do you remember what Thomas is still getting picked on as the doubter? He said he wouldn't believe that Jesus was alive unless he could see the nail marks in his hands and put his hand in his side. But Jesus said to him, Because you have seen, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John chapter 20 verse 29. Compare it to a marriage relationship. If your spouse is away on a trip, are you panicked? that they don't love you anymore, you can't feel them next to you. You can't see them. You can't talk to them if they are busy or in a meeting. You can't hear them. Does that mean that just because there is silence, that their love means nothing anymore? Of course not. Absence makes the hearts grow fonder. Would it not be wonderful to think that the Lord is preparing us in the silence? to teach us how to long for him? Of course, we want to be sure that there is not something keeping us from hearing from the Lord. 
If there is a sin, repent. If there is anger, get rid of it. If there is something you need to forgive, go do it. Clean up the heart, draw nigh to him, and he will draw nigh to you. His word promises that. Can we trust God when we don't hear from him, when we don't feel him every day? He promised to never leave us or forsake us. When there is silence, we lean on his promises. Can we keep on loving him, serving him, telling others about him just because we love him and not because he owes us anything in return? He never changes. He's always the same. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. And in an ever-changing world that is full to the brim of uncertainty, we can encourage one another by reminding ourselves of his faithfulness and remembering prayers that he has answered in the past. You can trust him even in the silence. When a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer. Corrie Ten Boom. And we are going to trust that engineer, the director of the universe, even when he seems to be silent. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. When I just came through that time Not too very long ago And looking back I can't see why And that my God was in control But on the hottest days I cried Oh Lord, isn't it bad? But the potter knows the clay, how much pressure it can take, how many times around the wheel, till there's submission to his will, he's planned a beautiful